10 versus $1,000 mystery box, where I had a subscriber make two mystery boxes. One, filling the contents with $10 worth of Pokemon cards and memorabilia, and the other, $1,000. Now the very first box is absolutely legit because it says guaranteed vintage on the inside and I have absolutely no idea what's on the inside. But before we get to the opening, I got something for y'all. That would be a vintage reverse holographic Squirtle card that is graded by Beckett. If you would like a chance at this, please subscribe to this channel, leave a like on this video, and let me know your favorite starter Pokemon of all time in the comment section below for your chance to get this card. But we should begin with the first one, the $10 box. It's in a very, very nice condition, I would say, as there's some brilliant, absolutely brilliant tape on it and buttons on it. But without further ado, let's see if we can get into this box in good fashion without Leon Hart cutting himself or just cutting the box open right. And let's see what the contents of this $10 mystery box will be. All right, reaching in one at a time. What do we got here? We have, wow, this is, this is so neat. I, I mean, I mean, these are very, very nicely protected. Like these could have just been thrown inside the box, but no, these are filled with bubble wrap. These are legit. I'm not even upset about this. Look at these Pokemon cups. Like this is good quality. Even the inside is yellow and it's not white. Like they went full with these. So a very, very nice way to start off this opening. What else do we got? Oh gosh, there's a lot in here. There's a vintage pack. There's a vintage pack, but we'll have to get to that. Oh gosh. And then what is this? Hey, it's a Unified Minds pack. That looks completely legit right there. All the glue on there and this is completely, yeah, this is legit. Let's just go ahead and get right into this first pack. I mean, this is also looks like the appropriate amount of cards that is supposed to, this box is in the way of uh, the light over here. This is the appropriate amount of cards. You know, some days you just wake up and think you're gonna have an amazing day and not see any Galarian Darmanitans. And then you go and open up a pack like this. That's okay, guys. We had a vintage pack. It said vintage on it, of course. Ooh, a Professor Juniper deck protection box. Wow, what are these? These look like actually real packs. G.I. Joe, these are like real G.I. Joe packs. I mean, sh like, are they? I don't think I've ever opened any. Hey, we got, we got Toxo. G.I. Joe special mission. Cobra Commander. No way. Look. There's more. What is all? Oh, it's Matt Cargo and Mustafar. So we got some G.I. Joe packs in there. We got some Matt Cargo and Mustafar. And look at all these. I mean, this ain't bad. This ain't bad, it's a nice variety. It ain't no Galarian Darmanitan, that's for sure. Even got some Japanese cards on the inside of this. That's not too shabby, I will say that. What, oh! Guys, I don't know how I'm gonna clean. There we go. Yeah, well, I, oh, wait. There we go. Well, I uh, don't know where that went, but. If you, oh, this one's broken. This one's broken in a half. You gotta love that. Well, pick your favorite dice, everybody. Let's just push this to the side. Let's just put this, there's one still in there. 
let's get to this vintage pack which is obviously vintage because it says it on the box and it says it on this pack so without further ado if i could actually no this is like gotta be protected so let me look that it's really well sealed i couldn't get the actually packaging off definitely not a one dollar pack it's definitely not a one dollar pack it's a one dollar pack of pokemon cards actually i think they raised the price at dollar general and dollar trees it's not even dollar tree anymore let's see what's on the inside and a great value blastoise ladies and gentlemen well that was the ten dollar box i mean the dice and stuff are really cool like where do you get that many different color dice that's really cool but we got to move on to the one thousand dollar mystery box this is cool it's a pokeball and i'm holding it upside down all right my friends shall we open up the one thousand dollar box let's us get into whoa look at that are those squirtle socks are those squirt oh my gosh we'll get to the box itself but my friends oh there goes the tag these are squirtle socks this is for me right i mean my wife and i are expecting a baby girl on this october but these are pretty big socks so safe to say I'm going to have to wear these socks, guys. So we got Squirtle socks. And then, my friends, look on the inside of this. This is so neat. All right. Shall we begin? If I could get the very, very first pack. Look at these. These are well done. Wow. That's like a ribbon. That's a ribbon getting so excited over a piece of fabric. In any case, uh, let's see if I don't really know the best way to open this up. Yeah, I guess we'll have to use scissors. Not on that side, but on this side. Go like that and see what's on the inside of this first one. Oh my, we have what is the equivalent to Evolving Skies Japanese packs. Okay, let's see if we can do what I cannot do in the, um, well, never, I've never, even the American set, the Japanese set, we can't get this guy. We can't get him reaching for the moon. Like, or the Rayquaza flying over the canopy. It's just, we can't, whoa, this is cool. Look at the little snake there, Ekans. All right, we have two more of these for what looks like the very, very first pack of this $1,000 box. You can also let me know your thoughts as we get a beautiful Sylveon ultra rare card, but it's not the droids we're looking for. And there we go. Oh, look, a little like unknown stones. Very cool. All right. Let's get into the second one. This is a bit thicker, so I'm wondering just what's going to be on the inside. This is such a neat box. The quality is just bar none, much more. Hidden Fates! Hidden fate alert! No to birds though. All right, let's see if we can go for that shining Charizard. Better yet, any of the evolutions will do. Fairy energy, rest in peace. There's also the Cynthia Full Art Trainer, and then there's some cards that we just don't want to pull, like any of the birds. We don't want to pull any of those. But let's see as we get a beautiful Jesse and James. Full art card. Very nice card. I know it's not worth too much, but it is still a beautiful card. Uh, full art. I mean, full art. I was thinking of fighting energy, guys. I get that pat on the back. You know I was meeting because I got, I'm just getting distracted. It's early in the morning. Shiny Gibble and a Lapras. Not bad pulls from just five packs so far, but I always enjoy opening up Leaf Energy. There, I said it. I always enjoy opening up some Hidden Fates. Definitely more than Shining Fates, just because of the, the more cool Gen 1 cards, I guess you can say, that are in Hidden Fates compared to Shining Fates. So there's the code for that. 
water energy. All right, two more chances to see if we can get something really, really nice here. Cubone, Erica, and a Golem. Last but not least, the Charizard Pack Art. Will it give us something good in this last pack? Psychic energy. Can, and can we stay away from the birds? Even bigger. Pikachu, Clefairy, ooh, Psychic Reverse, and a Zapdos Holographic. All right, moving on to the next one. This is not as many feeling packs, so maybe this could be, I mean, there's a ton more to go in this, but maybe these could be a, like maybe a bit oldisher set, if that makes sense. Maybe I'll be able to open these up. Oh, is this Primal Clash or Furious Fist? Primal Clash Packs! So, we are going back a bit older than Hidden Fates. I will take it. There's the code. No guess the energy, so we can get right into it. Nidoran, Tangula, Slugma on Mustafar. Electros is reverse rare. And a Kingdra, so not too bad. That was a reverse rare. There's the code for that. I'm just seeing all of these dice in everything behind me. It's like, I have a drawer full of the different dice from the ETBs and stuff, but this is just like takes the cake. Speaking of cake, yellow cake is, sounds really good with chocolate frosting and sprinkles. Rainbow sprinkles right now. That sounds amazing. All right, Leonhart, you got to concentrate. Ancient Traits, Torchic, Volpix. Rhyhorn, Wiz Khalifa, and a Tangrowth. So nothing crazy so far from the Primal Clash packs, but we got more to go, or at least of this pack. And then we have plenty more of the random mystery packs. Mudkip and Aegislash Holographic. All right, let's move on to the next one. Now, as I open this one up and hopefully don't take too long, uh, there was a first video, and here I go, taking too long. There was a first video of this series about a month or so ago. Is this, uh, is this? No way! Shining Legends. Mew, Mewtwo Laboratory, or any of the Shinings would be great. Uh, so, as I was saying, if you'd like to go check out that video, it's also called something about $10 versus $1,000 Pokemon Mystery Box. Fairy Energy, rest in peace. Please go check that out. The $10 box in that video was actually phenomenal. Pirate Litten, Reloom, Toracat, Golurk, Manafi, Holographic, but Shining Legends is, uh, you know, obviously it's a subset, but it's a very fun subset because Fighting Energy, there are lots of cool cards in this set and beautifully illustrated cards like the Mewtwo Laboratory card. Totodial and Latios, you are guaranteed a holographic card in every single set as we get into the final two packs of Shining Legends and we still have a whole nother row, Leaf Energy, of these mystery packs to open up today. So hopefully, the, uh, it usually gets crazier as we go on. Dun, 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 dun. Volcarona and a Keldeo, or the Denver Broncos mascot. All right, last pack magic time for the Shining Legends set. Metal Energy, close with the Dark Energy. I always have those kind of close together in my head. Pikachu, Snake, Zora, Buizel, Manaphy, and a Hoop. There it is, Hoopa Holographic. All right, before we get to the second row, don't forget your chance to get this legendary collection reverse holographic Squirtle. Grade it from Beckett. Subscribe, leave a like, and let me know your favorite starter Pokemon of all time. And I will comment on your comment if you get it. Please make sure it has the verified, if I can get this, the verified sand. Why is this always like I'm terrible at this? Oh, because it gets stuck. Good job. Uh, it has the verified mark on my profile. Is this X and Y base set? It is. All right. Can we get the Xerneas Christmas tree card? Obviously, there's some Mega Venusaurs and Blastoises. But let's see. I haven't opened up this set in a long time. 
Is it? I, no, it's, I think it's just three cards because it's the first XY set. No guesses of the energy. It's always cool to go, there's an energy, to go back in time and just uh, before, you know, things changed in the set. Obviously there's EX cards compared to G and V and, oh, lots of stuff that just changes, but it makes it fun. It makes it fun, especially the cool artwork on the cards. Jigglypuff and the different type of playable cards. Rhyperior holographic. Very nice. And the holofoil style changes, of course, from like the plasma sets to had a different style of the actual holofoil part. Muscle band, Ekans, Doe Duo, Slugma, Fire Energy, Cloister Reverse Rare, and a Zorark holographic. So let's move on. Oh my gosh, there's this is a. Uh, this is a skinny boy. This is a, it sounds like maybe like one or two packs in here, unless they're like type of promo packs or something. Or a super, super rare actual vintage pack. Man, this uh, paper is pretty tough, huh? I promise you I work out, guys. Whoa, it is what I think it is. And there it goes. Black and white base set pack. We're going with the base sets today. I love it. Let's go with Zeb Strika for the black and white pack. Now, there is a secret rare Pikachu in this set, which I have pulled on the channel before, guys, and lots of other cool cards, but let's see if we can go for that secret rare Pikachu. Would be insane. Very difficult to pull. Whoop, there it is. And we got a Salzbuck. Not a holographic. Black and white, it's really cool. Just uh, opening up these, like, they're old, obviously not vintage sets, but to me, it's just you don't see these opened up too often. So really cool to kind of switch things up here. Kudos to the mystery box maker, which their identity will be revealed in the future. Live hard, but that was a reverse Mandy Buzz. All right, my friend, another one. These are so cute, but this one's even thinner. Is this just one pack? Is this an Arceus pack maybe? Base set Arceus? Can, platinum maybe? Can I get this out of this pack? There we go. No, it's a legendary wait for it tre- no, I said I did that wrong. We're just gonna move on and just open up this pack. This is a fun set, guys. Legendary Treasures is a very fun set. There is a code for it, just three cards. Radiant collection cards like this Servine. It's kind of cool. You can see the glittery foil on it. Crestal. Bianca, Zora, Zora again, Lugia EX. So we have finally gotten a big, big hit and a cute little Growlithe Radiant Collection card. See, you gotta love these. Just, it, it's so shiny and, and, and foey and it's cute. All right, well, We've right reached, if I can talk properly, the final pack. We are now gonna open up the remainder of, no, I can't believe they included G.I. Joe cards in this. That's incredible. I don't even know if those are readily available, but I guess so. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get into the final pack, my friends, and see what we can do in this pack. See if we can get a little last pack magic. What could it be though? What could it possibly be? Oh, this looks old. This looks old. Get a little whiff of that. Is it Team Rocket? Is it Team Rocket? Is it, can I not pull it out? There we go. A Team Rocket Giovanni, G Giovanni pack. Everybody place your calls and don't forget to subscribe and leave a like and comment. Your favorite starter Pokemon for this guy. Very cool card, had it for a while, but it would be even cooler going to somebody in the community. All right, my friends. Name of the game is just to get a char, just Squirtle. Just want to get a Squirtle, ladies and gentlemen. So here we go. Magikarp, Porygon, Muck, Eevee, Oddish, Zubat, Abra, Charmander, Raticate. No Squirtle, that's okay. Still want one of those Zards, Dragonites, or Blastoise. And Dark Gyarados, non-holographic. 
All right, if you want to watch the first one of these, it's right over there. Click now. My name is Lane Art. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.